that work. And I can't make a shot. I saw how I got, oh my god, I've made so many mistakes. <laughs> You know, it's a big day for my uh, my child here. He's off. Elk are scared. They are trembling in their feet right now. Kitty, your truck is super packed, man. Oh, all the training. <laughs> this yeah. is it. It's all come down to this. What are you guys doing? <laughs> well, we're doing cooking videos. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Well, welcome over here to uh, Longer's TV. This is, well, probably 24 hours into filming now. We are uh, crested over 10,000 feet. You can feel it in my ears. We are at 10,200. Still going up. You can feel it in my, my face. We got up to 11, 11,300 right there. I'm actually like kind of, kind of slightly praying that I don't have to walk anywhere up this high. I mean, we're above the tree line right now. Well, we're coming back on the back side of the tree line. I'm not. I'm usually entertained. I'm usually getting... It's so quiet. It's also very, very warm. Like, really warm. Time check for you guys is 2.44. This is actually two... No, this is three days before the hunt even starts. We gotta do a little bit of scouting day. We got this thing prepped and set up at the same time. Get all my water set up. Wow, it was really dirty coming in here. This thing is dusty. Well, that's what we gotta get set up. We gotta make sure the bow is good. We gotta get on some flat level ground, which that's what I'm trying to find right now. This seems pretty, seems pretty good. Flower things smell funny. Where was that? I actually never even packed my bag. Coming over here, I just kind of pack everything separately in different items like underwear, socks, and, and t-shirts, stuff like that. Cause I knew I were gonna be camping out like this. So I didn't really pack my actual day bag or my bag that I'm gonna walk around with for the most part. So I'm trying to find stuff like booty wipes. Need those. Headlamps, knife. Never know why, you, you might need tape at some point. But I'm pretty much just getting it set up right now. And we're gonna go out tonight or this evening cause right now it is three, it's almost four o'clock. So we need to leave here in the next hour or so. And we're gonna go and try to scout some areas. Like this is all my Jackets, but I always want to keep 100% of the time because when you're in the mountains, you just never know because clouds form and rains form and everything just kind of goes haywire out of nowhere. Rain jackets, rain jackets 100%. You don't need to always have rain pants, but always carry a rain jacket. It doesn't really do very much, it doesn't take up a lot of space, it doesn't take up any weight, nearly any weight. So, pretty much all I'm doing. I can already tear right now. This bag's just a tad bit wobbly. I gotta fix that when we stop. Time check for you guys. It is now 4.44. The sun is clearly on its way down, as you guys know, because you live on planet Earth. We're gonna go looking. We're gonna go looking. There was two trucks that have already came by. We are hunting public land, by the way. I know there's some of you guys who be asking that. Yes, we're on public land, so we will see some, some other hunters. I would assume that generally is what happens. Plan is over the next couple days, we gotta find some elk. We gotta at least see them. I, right now, we're sitting at just 8,800 feet, just at 9,000 feet. This range goes to about 13,000, which I don't want to go up that high if I don't have to. And then bear protector is here. So I'm telling you guys right now, Google Earth kind of lied to me just a little bit. Or maybe I'm just terrible reading Topo. Hold on a sec. I thought that this was more like a draw with like a creek in into it. No, this is straight up a cliff. You're either hunting this side of the unit or you're hunting that side of the unit. There's no way you're gonna go down. I mean, that is, I'll, I'll, maybe I can get something up here so you guys can see, but it is, it is like this. It's a sheer cliff going down into a creek. It's so thick and it's deceiving as well when it comes to how thick this place is. It is like, the it's way, 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 way more thick than what I hung last year. This place is like thick like Cardi B.
So we're here like a couple days before season even opens. Basically I drove 18 hours to a unit I don't know. Come to find out it's extremely thick. I know I've already said that. And we're gonna do a little bit of glass and we have 600, I think it's like 683,000 acres of public land to hunt here. It's so quiet. My ears ring like crazy. That is some thick stats. Okay, we glass for about 14 seconds. Glass the hillside and then realize I'm getting ate up by mosquitoes. Not expecting that up this high, uh, this late in the year. But I will, I will say I, I'm slightly concerned because I don't really have an idea exactly what I'm going to do and where I'm going to find them. My first time being here, you guys do know that. And it's very, very nasty country. I want to be honest with you, this is, this is like, when I first got here, I was like, oh, this looks really good. Like, this isn't bad right here. This is nice. But as far, like, the farther back you get towards, like, the main portion of the mountain, it becomes very thick. Like, very thick. I'd be shocked if I, if I find an elk over there, I'd be shocked if I took a shot over 20 yards. That's how thick it is. I mean, it's going to be... Could be close quarters. Um, on a good note, I did stop and I did talk to somebody that's been here before, and he said that uh, they do get very vocal around mid month. Thank God, because I'll be I'll be on a different different. I'll be somewhere else. <laughs> I'll be somewhere else. So I don't really have an idea what I'm going to do, uh, clearly, but I'm, I'm going to go look at some maps tonight, and then in the morning, hopefully I'll have a little bit better game plan for you guys. But I, I'm telling you what, the view is beautiful, the smells are great, and the air is crisp. Very crisp. Like, I need to get a jacket on type crisp. I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty chilly last night. It's like, it was 102 in Texas the day before we left, and it's probably in the mid 30s right now here. I toss and turn pretty much all night. I told you guys yesterday, same video, but yesterday. We have 680,000 acres to cover. It's very steep and very thick. There's only three roads in this um, in this unit that I can utilize to kind of get around on. So I'm gonna travel all three of them today and see exactly what kind of terrains on each side of these. Because I'm telling you on this side, going that away, it's not gonna happen. You're either hunting this side or you're hunting this side. But if you get on that road over there, you could probably hunt that side fairly easily. Well, we're gonna go on the back side of this mountain today, this morning, and see, uh, cause you guys know that elk, they come down at night and they go up in the morning. They fall thermals and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go on the back side of this mountain tonight, or excuse me, this morning, and see if they came down last night and maybe we can catch them going up. Look at this. I mean, it's very, 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 very beautiful here. But look at these, these, these walls. These are legitimately walls right here. Came back to the back side. This is actually, we're sleeping not, we're gonna call these legit valleys. Not this valley, clearly. The next valley over is not ours. And then the one after that is the one that we've been in. And I came back over here and uh, I, I knew by looking at the topographical lines that this was gonna be steep. I was like, ah, it's gonna be kind of steep. I think kind is an understatement. See that? That's pretty much what we have been dealing with. And right now, this is not even, this is not even uh, public. This is private. So this is private. This is private. All along, this is all private. There's like, like say that little draw right there. That would be a lot easier to walk up, but it's private. So finding somewhere to walk to get to that side of public land is is, is actually my main uh, issue right now because I, <clears throat> the hunt hasn't started clearly and I don't want to burn out my legs prior to the hunt starting so I've been kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of I've been kind of contemplating maybe going back into town and seeing if there's uh, maybe a place where I can lease some horses for like five days or so. Because walking back, by the time I get back to where I need to go, I'll probably burn out, done. I've, I mean, I've walked hills before. <laughs> and if you watch, anybody watches at home, you guys know when you get four or five miles deep and shit like this, <laughs> your legs are... <laughs> feels good outside though. It's chilly. That's, that's a good thing. I mean, I come around the bend and uh, look at this. This looks, there's 680,000 acres to hunt, right? I wonder how much of that looks like. It is kind of ironic though. We came around the bend and like, oh wow, this actually looks really good. And then I look up to my left. What does that say? Leaving public land? Okay. Uh, all right. So this is, the, this is the only bad part about hunting out here. You go, you get through an area, like, like all this to my right is I actually huntable land. <sighs> Time check for you guys, it is now 9.08. Then do a little bit of glassing. I got an area over here that I like a lot. It's got a lot of aspens in it. Found some like really, really sketchy, crappy roads that I'm actually able to drive up on. So we came up here to the highest point we can get to and I've glassed all this area. Kind of crazy, like 
the amount of talking I just did, I'm slightly out of breath. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually gonna need my spotting scope either. I'm coming to, I'm actually coming to senses. I don't think I'm gonna need it. Everything's too thick. No, this is fresh. Came back into this draw. Just to take a gander. Beautiful. I just can't get over Colorado at times. What we got? Hill, draw, aspens, with a bunch of trees. And we got water. Here in Colorado, water's not a giant deal, but it is good to take a note of it. It's a lot of lush stuff for them to munch on down here, though. I want to walk up into these aspens a little bit. See, if, I've seen a lot of poo. Not not new poo. Old poo. That is the kind of rub we're actually looking for right there. Came to the other side of the mountain, legitimately like way on the other side of the mountain, and right on side, right off the road is that. Mosquitoes are terrible right now. Absolutely the worst mosquitoes I've ever had to deal with in my time. Right? They're all over me, all over me. They're biting. Look, they're everywhere. There's a bed right there, bed over here. They're biting my butt. I want you guys to know this. The mosquitoes are so bad, legitimately so bad, I had to get my rain jacket out. I, I, last time I experienced something like this was like in Alaska. We just got swarmed, we got over there by the water. Absolutely swarmed by mosquitoes. I probably got bit a hundred times. And I'm, I probably got a bit a hundred times. I'm wearing a short sleeve like an idiot. I want to come back in here tomorrow, but I think I need to get something to put over my face. Cause, oh, stinging nettle. Stinging nettle. Fuck. You know what a stinging nettle is? What's Don't that? step there. Ah. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a fiasco there for a second. Uh, we did see a couple, I saw two bedding areas. One was very prominent. There was multiple, multiple beds. A bunch of cow poop, some bull poop, a bunch of cow tracks. But there was a very large amount of stagnant water back there. That's actually what I was going to go look at on, the, on my map. And it's there, and it's a breeding ground. What I mean breeding ground, breeding ground for mosquito. I'm... <laughs> I'm not kidding y'all. When I say it was bad, we were trying to film something. I was like, I had him in my face and my mouth and he had him all inside of it. I was like, this is, this is bad. We can't stand here because we're trying to swat him so bad. On a good note, this is a very prominently used trail, clearly, because I mean, we're just walking through it like this. And it's pretty deep back in here. A little bit of a time check for you guys. It's now 6.49. We have covered somewhere near 35 to 40 miles so far today. Haven't seen any elk, but I also haven't been glassing. I've been just trying to get a kind of lay of the land because this is a very big unit, as you guys know. Found a random uh, random little circle with salt licks. Pretty much pretty much that. I did find a burn that wasn't actually on the, uh, the, old, the old mapping system, so that's good. Hey, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, hey, you know where the elk are? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, well. All right, see you later, we can talk. Well, we got back all the way back in here. We got nothing but a ton of cattle over here, like a ton of some of these guys. If you guys don't know this, you guys, on public land out west, they can literally just dump cows and let them run. And that's pretty much what they've done. But this road is actually completely closed to protect uh, natural something. Well, crazy enough, I come back over to camp. Yes, I'm out of breath because I just walked up this hill really fast, I know. Come back over to camp. Just kind of calling it quits. Gonna take myself a little baby white bath. I just took a nice little poo down over here. And I look up while I'm taking my poo and I'm like, what is that? All the way up. I mean, that's all the way up to the top of that. All the way down to there. I'm just like, what the heck? Tomorrow, it's gonna be a different day that we have one more day before season opener. And I haven't even touched any of this. I've, I've actually gone to all the stuff that's pretty much as far away as I possibly can from where I am camping. And I'm actually camping not even relatively close to the trailhead, which is another eight miles that way. Well, I, I, I don't know. There's not very many people here right now. I've only seen two other hunters. I've talked to them. They've hunted here in the past and they've, they've told me that elk here do get very vocal, but I don't know. This hunting thing can be pain in the booty even though we haven't really even got started yet i'm pretty jacked tomorrow we're gonna do a bit more walking though today and yesterday we haven't done any walking as you guys do know but now that i feel a little bit better and a little bit more acclimated it's time to do a little walking and i've got to say this thing has been a champion so far this thing has been an absolute champion so far and i love i love absolutely love this trailer this right here this thing guys is phenomenal I would never want to go hunting without it now. And those mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are back. All right, time to get in there. God dang. 